All right, now we're just going to look at another uh, example of tangent. Uh, again, doing this, you don't have to really find an amplitude because there's no amplitude, it's not a wave function. But we still need to find the other things. So we're going to find our period. Remember with tangent and cotangent, it's not 2 pi over b, it's pi over b. b in this problem is 1 half. Instead of dividing, I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal, 2 pi. Next, we're going to find our phase shift. Again, another difference between uh, sine and cosine is we just put negative pi halves and pi halves at the end of each of the things. And then we need to solve for x, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply each of these by 2. Here, uh, this is going to cancel, leave me pi. That is less than x, which is less than pi. Oops, I meant negative pi here, sorry. And that should make sense because the distance from here to here has to still be that. So I think that works. And then lastly, what we're going to do is we're going to find our divisions. So I'm going to take my period, which is 2 pi, and divide it by 4. So we get pi halves. All right, so that's all the information we need. And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to graph this. So let's see if we can move on to the next page and grab it. Uh, our graph is going to start at negative pi halves, negative pi. Our division is pi halves, so this will be negative pi halves when you add it. Add it again, you'll be at zero. Add it again, you'll be at pi halves. And add it one more time, and you're going to be at pi. So we've added it four times. We went from the start of our phase shift to the end of our phase shift, so that's good. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go back and look and see at the pattern. Uh, we're going to graph negative three tangent. So negative tangent. Looking back, a negative tangent goes like this. Positive infinity, absolute wave A, zero. Negative absolute wave A, negative infinity. And as you should know, if this is what tangent looks like, if you have a negative A, it's going to reflect about the x-axis. So this part right here is going to go this way, and this part right here is going to go this way. So just a reminder, the ends will have vertical asymptotes. And then as we approach negative 1, it tells us we're going to go to positive infinity. So our graph should go up here. But this is going to be 0. And then we're going to do uh, the absolute value of A. Well, A in our problem would be 3. So we'd be up at 3. So as we get closer to our nice little vertical asymptote, our function is going to rise on this side. Here we're at negative absolute value of A. So we'll be at negative 30. And then this part's going to fall. Oops. That's my dot. Let's try it again. That looks a little bit better. Again, that's just one cycle of our tangent, but that's kind of what it looks like.